so I'm back this is half an hour later so what I'm going to do now is just use an old toothbrush and begin to scrub inside The smell of bleach is quite strong so make sure at this point you've already covered your nose and face. Make sure you you've make sure you've got your protective goggles on with at this point as well in case you get any splashes back at you. I'll be really honest with you, as I was scrubbing it, a lot of it was flying around, flying back at me. Make sure you wear your goggles, very imperative, wear your goggles before doing this. So I'm done scrubbing now. This is what it looks like. You can see all the build up, all the mold is gone now what we need to do is just rinse off this is where i've been scrubbing just need to rinse off places like this so it will, will become clear hardest part to clean was right at the back but i was still able to do it just have to keep patient with it this part here is the hardest part to clean So I've got my wet paper towel here and um, what I'm going to do is just wipe all inside and to make it clear again. So I'll do that off camera and come back and show you the results. As I said before, as you are wiping around, make sure nothing falls down into this hole here because that will destroy your washing machine. Be very, very careful. I wet my glove and use the glove to wipe down the rest to get rid of all the residue cleaning stuff that I put in there and this is the final result nice and clean nice and fresh all the mold is gone all the excess buildup of washing powder is gone and that's how you clean your inside of your drawer your washing machine Once you have finished cleaning it, it's easy to put back in. All you need to do is just literally slide it back in. Because the slash contained bleach, I would just recommend that before you use your washing machine again, just pull it on a rinse with nothing inside, an empty rinse and then you should be good to go.